大家好, 我是Duke Dukelis, Guga Bian Xian, Ye Wu de Champin Zong Jian, Fei Chang, Kai Xin, Zai Se Jian Dao Da Jia, Sui Ran, Jin Nian, Hai Shi, Yi Xian Shang de Xing Shi, Dan Wu, Xiang Xin, Woman, Ying Gai Han, Kwai, Nong Gao, Jian Mian, Jie Xiaolai, Wu Xiang Gun Da Jia, Fen Xiang Woman Zai, Guang Gao, Fang Mian de Zui Xin Champin, Bang Ju Ning the Yoshi Kwai Su Zeng Zhang Xia Mian Ching Yun Shu Wa Yong Ying Yu Lai Jie Xiao Xiang Jing. Every year, I look forward to sharing new technology and insights with leaders like you in mobile games. As Carol mentioned earlier, players are readapting to life after the pandemic, where they are splitting their time between gaming and other offline events and hobbies. Mobile gamers are also presented with a plethora of gaming options as the industry evolves. Now, some of these exciting changes include emerging modes of gameplay, new game genres, and growth in cross-platform gaming experiences. And this makes it harder than ever to retain your user attention in your mobile games. Not to mention, the latest developments in privacy mean the need to adapt to new ways of interacting with your mobile game users. However, there is reason to remain optimistic. The global gaming community is stronger than ever now, with 3 billion cross-platform players worldwide. And in addition, the fundamentals of business in making your game profitable do not change, and this will be the focus for our keynote today. In the rest of today's session, I'd like to share more about how our latest products can help you to strengthen your monetization strategy, drive more growth with export, and scale your reach even further with user acquisition. Let's start with monetization, which is essential for a game's long-term success. In the last two years, we've seen a pivot to the adoption of hybrid monetization, where games use both in-app purchases and in-app advertising to drive revenue. For example, through more engaging formats like rewarded ads, which allow players to choose to see an ad in exchange for in-game items, developers have found ads to be complementary to the gameplay experience. Now, this sentiment is reflected in our latest Mobile Insights report, where players respond well to in-app ads that deliver an engaging player experience. 75% of mobile players believe that in-game ads can have a neutral or even positive effect on their gameplay experience. Now, to help you capture the most value from ad monetization, we're introducing innovations across bidding, reporting, and privacy. Now, let's dive into the first topic, bidding. In the past, Waterfall mediation has been the traditional method of prioritizing ad networks across different demand sources based on historical pricing. However, with the industry pivot to real-time bidding, it's now more important than ever for publishers to be on a platform that improves inventory efficiencies and establishes long-term revenue growth. Now, with Google AdMob, you can boost your ad revenue by combining real-time bidding and waterfall mediation, and in addition, Publishers who monetize their apps with AdMob benefit from increased competition across more than 200 ads buyers in our real-time bidding auction, including demand-side platforms from brand advertisers and many of the most effective ad exchanges globally. And that's not all. We've accelerated our efforts to integrate more ad networks onto AdMob bidding. Pangle Demand recently became available to publishers as open beta, and Vungle will soon follow. Both can compete in real time for your impressions. 111% based in South Korea is one of the many publishers who have transitioned to the AdMob platform and bidding as waterfall settings became increasingly time consuming to manage. The team decided to integrate the AdMob platform into Random Dice, their popular player versus player defense strategy game with more than 11 million downloads worldwide. Growing ad revenue was important for Random Dice, where in-app ads contributed to 15% of total earnings. Now, the AdMob network was already the top demand source for 111%, bringing in the majority of their ad revenue. Now, within three months of adopting AdMob bidding in Random Dice, 111% saw a 28% increase in the CPM and achieved 30% time savings in ads management. Now let's talk about powering smart decisions, which starts with essential reporting information, transparency, and control. The new ads activity report in AdMob shows a comprehensive view of your earnings, including those from third parties 
and the ability to slice your data with more granularity than ever before, including new dimensions, such as hour of delivery and app version. The report also provides a full breakdown of performance by demand source, including Google demand sources and the 200 plus RTB bidders integrated into Google's Exchange. Publishers are also empowered to understand the impact of privacy changes on revenue, with new report dimensions indicating publisher and user response to the iOS privacy framework. To help you gain even more clarity in ads performance, AdMob's impression level ad revenue will help you calculate more accurate user lifetime value from AdMob, including revenue driven by the AdMob network, as well as mediated networks and waterfall and in-app bidding. To make this even easier to use, Impression level ad revenue has been integrated by top app attribution platforms Adjust, Apps Flyer, Singular, and Tengen. Lastly, to help you develop long term revenue growth, we're building privacy preserving technologies that help you stay ahead. Our product team is adding new features to our Google Mobile Ads SDK to help enhance ad performance while ensuring user privacy. For example, we introduced the same app key through the GMA SDK to deliver personalized ads scoped on a per app basis while respecting various user privacy settings. Features like the same app key are automatically deployed as long as you are up to date with the latest GMA SDK. And that matters because when IDFA is absent, we've seen a strong revenue lift on iOS from our developers using the same app key. We'll share more as we bring additional privacy safe first party features to you. Now, staying ahead of player trends to create new revenue opportunities is equally important. One trend is HTML5 games. While H5 games have grown in popularity globally, it is not always easy to offer a great gameplay experience and earn revenue from your game at the same time. So we're bringing rewarded and interstitial ads to H5 games. Let's take a look at King Game, a leading games developer in China. King Game wanted to increase ad revenue on their H5 gaming platform without sacrificing user experience and retention. Now, to create the best gameplay experience, King Game used Google Analytics to identify the moments in gameplay where users most often pause, such as the game over screen. They used these insights to decide the in-game placement of interstitial and rewarded ads. And the result was highly positive. Implementing H5 games ads led to a 70% increase in CPMs and a 300% increase in revenue. Now, H5 Games Ads is currently in beta. Now, we can't mention H5 Games without sharing an update on our H5 gaming platform, Game Snacks. Now, H5 game developers have an opportunity to reach a global audience if they add their game to the Game Snacks platform for distribution across Google properties today and partner platforms in the coming year. We're already seeing more than 35 million MAUs enjoying Game Snacks titles across the Google Play, Games App, Chrome, Android Auto, and Google Assistant. Let's now talk about effectively growing your app's user base. Now, what I love about games is that they are global in nature. According to App Annie, four of the top five trending mobile games worldwide in 2021 are from Asia Pacific countries. Now, we've seen the games who diversify into export markets grow their user base faster and generate more revenue. And that's where app campaigns come in. Now, app campaigns make it easy to find and keep valuable players for your game and reach over 1 billion potential players. You define the business goals that matter to you, whether that's driving installs for your game launch, acquiring players who will spend in your game, re-engaging lapsed players, or increasing the return on your marketing investment. Now from there, we'll use the power of automation with sophisticated machine learning to help you find more high quality players across search, YouTube, Play, Discover, and over a million sites and apps in the Google Display Network. Now, earlier this year, we announced new features for advertisers who want to profitably acquire players who engage with ads at scale. Now, targeted return on ad spend for ad revenue, or T ROAS for ad revenue is a bidding strategy for you to earn more revenue from ads shown in your app and dynamically pay depending on how likely a player is to engage with in-app ads. In the coming months, 
all developers can improve their TROAS campaign performance by sending all ad mob revenue, including mediated revenue, directly to Google Analytics for bidding. Now, if you're not on AdMob, third-party ad revenue in Google Analytics also allows you to import revenue from any monetization platform into Google Analytics for TROAS bidding. Now, Learnings.ai, a leading Chinese mobile game studio, used TROAS for ad revenue to increase the return on ad spend for their classic Sudoku puzzle app by 14%. Within a month, the team was able to measure incremental revenue by setting up an A-B test with a target cost per action campaign as the control group and a T-ROAS campaign as the test group. And the positive results helped Learnings.ai to scale T-ROAS for ad revenue to other apps in the portfolio. Once you've found your key players, driving deeper engagement and high value actions like in-app purchases is equally crucial. To help you achieve this and improve the performance of your app campaigns, I'm excited to share new solutions across audiences, creative testing, and inventory. Let's start with audiences. We've heard you. Acquiring the right high value quality players who will be active in your game is not always easy. For example, it can be especially challenging to find gamers who will reach a higher level in your game. We also know that oftentimes you may already have existing knowledge on the types of users your campaigns would be most successful with. In this case, knowing previous players who have reached a high level in another game in your portfolio. Now we're making it easier for you to find these players using your knowledge with the ability to add an audience signal to your Android app campaigns. You can provide a list of known users, such as players who have reached a high level in another game, and our models will then use that guidance to find similar new users who are more likely to complete your target action in your current game. In early testing, on average, apps campaigns with an added audience signal observed a 4% increase in conversions on affected inventory. In the coming months, this functionality will be available in beta. Now, with all of these new players, it's important for you to keep them engaged, which can be challenging. From research conducted by Google, nearly 80% of mobile gamers say they play more than two games simultaneously, making it difficult to retain user attention. Now, App Campaigns for Engagement helps you do just that. Engage a set of players you choose, like those who have recently churned or who have not made a purchase in a while. And now, based on your app's play data, you'll have access to the automatically generated lists of past purchasers, which you can filter by specific date ranges, making it even easier to re-engage these high value users and improve player retention. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite topics, creatives. Now good creatives, especially video creatives, can be one of the most important factors to help you improve reach by expanding the inventory your ads qualify for. However, knowing the effectiveness of your gaming creative isn't always straightforward without experimentation. To help you understand the impact your creative has on your app campaign performance, we're now giving advertisers the ability to easily set up experiments to test their video assets and ensure better performing video creatives are a part of their asset mix. In the coming months, this functionality will be in beta and available for both app campaigns for install and app campaigns for engagement. Now, I've talked about how to find the right audiences and creatives. Now, I'll share how to get your ads in the right places across high-quality on-platform inventory sources such as YouTube. Now, since launching YouTube Shorts in 2020, we've seen tremendous momentum with short-form video, with YouTube Shorts now averaging over 30 billion daily views. That's four times as many as a year ago. To help you tap into the power of short-form content on YouTube, App Campaigns for Install will now have access to YouTube Shorts inventory. This will be gradually ro rolling out across iOS and Android globally. Lastly, to scale your app campaigns even further and to help developers get more access to Google's bids, I'm happy to share that we are expanding the reach of ads bought via Google Ads and Display in Video 360. We've started bidding via new RTB integrations with third-party monetization platforms, including App Love and Max, Helium by Chartboost, and DT Fairbid. 
Advertisers can reach more players and still have the confidence that the app inventory where your ads are showing meets Google's high quality standards. And with these new integrations, as more app developers transition to using real-time bidding to monetize their inventory, they will have greater access to more competitive bids from Google demand sources on third-party platforms. For app developers using third-party platforms, this solution creates an opportunity to increase competition for their inventory and grow ad revenue beyond simply using waterfall mediation. Product availability is currently limited. Your account manager will reach out to you when we are ready for broader access. Now today, we share new ways to help you strengthen and expand your monetization strategy, drive export via app campaigns, and scale your reach even further with user acquisition tools. Earlier, I shared how AdMob can help you to supercharge your monetization strategy with access to 200 plus buyers competing in real time for your inventory. Transparency and control over reporting with the ads activity report and impression level ad revenue and the latest privacy preserving technologies. I also shared new ways to diversify your revenue with H5 Games ads and Game Snacks. In addition, app campaigns can help you to grow your export revenue and performance through innovations in bidding, audiences, creative testing, and inventory. And last but not least, developers will be able to benefit from more app inventory reach and access to Google demand sources in real time on third party platforms. As I think about the growth of gaming over the past few years, I am impressed by the tremendous creativity and engaging content. Every day, my team is focused on figuring out how to help you drive growth in users and monetization, and it's an honor to work with you. My team sincerely hopes that these updates help drive a prosperous year for you. And with that, thank you.